Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a what I feed my guinea pigs on like a day is. So today it is September the 1st, 2019. So looking at the weather, normally in summer they have, they're outside all day, they have grass. So yeah, the winter diet is quite different to their summer diet, but I don't know if they're going to go out because it's a little bit chilly. So yes, yeah, so the first thing I go do in the morning is I check on the hay amount. They were given some more fresh hay last night. They... My pair have two litter trays because they're a bit iffy of eating our hay racks. And my single male has a hay rack and a litter tray because he does tend to eat a little bit more than them. So, yeah. So, I now I'm just going to say hey to them. So, that one there is Albert. The one in the back is Archie. I did spot clean them last night and they pooed all over again. They had their water changed last night. So, I'm not going to change it today because I change my bottles every other day. That is Vegas. So, yeah. Now, I'm just going to go chop their veggies for the day. So here is the veg that my guinea pigs will be getting today. They have some sweet heart or pointed cabbage, some carrot, some mixed with lettuce, some bell peppers, which is great for vitamin C, and some swede. So when you are feeding vegetables such as cabbage, broccoli, sprouts, stuff in the gas family, basically you need to do this very, very carefully. So my guinea pigs have been on this sort of diet since they were babies so they are used to having quite gassy vegetables and they tolerate it really really well so yeah so they can have larger portions because their bodies are just adapted to it they can have cabbage and broccoli they've never had an issue so just do it very very slowly so they get two vegetable meals a day they get 10 percent of their body weight and veg my guinea pigs are a little bit different so when they are out on the grass they get slightly less i think it's about 30 grams less i do it because they don't eat as much veg when they're on the grass. They leave, I put their vegetable meals out with them up until they're either forage or pellet feeding. So they choose not to eat the veg as much. So I found with Albert and Archie about 180 grams of veg when they're on the grass and it's about 230 grams when they aren't on the grass because that's just what they want to eat. Now with Fergus, he gets about 80 to 100 grams because he, he gets about 120 grams of veg a day. So, if he's out on the grass, he gets about 80 to 100. All just kind of depends. He does eat the best out of all of them. But yeah, they get split into two feeding meals because Albert has a problem where if he has all of his veg at once, he can't handle it. So, yeah, let's begin chopping up veggies. So here's the full amount of veg Albert and Archie will get today. They get 190 grams. So this will now get split into two vegetable meals because they probably will be going out on the grass today. If they're not, then I'll just add some more later on. But yeah, so personally, people don't tend to feed this. I do find quite a lot of people don't feed their guinea pigs enough veg. Like, I'm not going to name the YouTuber, but all she gives her guinea pigs is a slice of cilantro. Not cilantro. It's like a red lettuce a slice of pepper and a tomato each a day that for me is not enough because it just doesn't give your guinea pigs enough fresh food guinea pigs are meant to eat fresh food like and then she gives her guinea pigs a lot of pellets which just aren't really my ideal situation but yeah so i follow a similar diet to erin's arc which is yeah i really like her guinea pig diet so i try and kind of follow that slightly but yes i'm just gonna rinse this off and portion it so here is fergus's veg meal for the day so he's got 88 grams. Bear in mind, it's just for one guinea pig. But when he isn't on the grass, he gets about 120 grams of veg. So yeah, so I'm just now need to rinse this off. I've portioned Albert and Archie's. I just now need to portion Fergus's. So here's all the guinea pigs' veg that's out for the day. So here is Fergus's, Albert and Archie's morning, dinner, morning breakfast. Then I have their dinner. So yeah, let's go feed them their veg. So I've just placed Albert and Archie's veg in. I like to hand feed them a piece of pepper each just because with having two you need to make sure they're getting the correct vitamin C. Now these love their pepper and they will actually steal it off each other. So it's just to make sure they both get a bit of pepper. I do like to hand feed them their pepper. Do you want your pepper? 
Weg. Weg, weg. Okay, love. Do you want some? You like pepper too. You like pepper too. Yeah, let me show you. Ow. Thanks. Go on then. Let me fix that hide for you. See, so yeah, that is their morning feed done. It's there. Just walk past it. Out of all the guinea pigs, Vegas likes carrot the most. None of my guinea pigs really like carrot bar Vegas. There we go. So I'll be back later to talk the hay. Hi guys, so it's now time for my guinea pig's next meal. And for the next meal, I vary it. So every other day, so every day they either get a tablespoon each of pellets or they get some of the dandelion salad or any other dried forage. Today they're getting some of the dandelion salad because they had pellet yesterday. Sometimes I vary it and give them two days with pellets and one day with um, forage. It all kind of just depends on what I've got in. So, yeah, I'll show you guys roughly how much this is. So, let's say that much for Fergus. And then the pig. this much dried forage so it's not a lot they do also get fresh forage from time to time if i have any mint or any i do feed quite a, a variety of different um herbs because i believe it's a really good feed for them there's a lot of health benefits in feeding herbs dried herbs are really, really good fresh herbs are slightly better but yeah so let's give them that Join your dinner. Join your dinner. Here's your bottom. Here you go, pain in the bottom. So it's Fergus's. I might talk the hay as well in a minute. Fergus is okay. It's more Albert and Archie. So yeah, it's going to be Albert and Archie this. These two guys don't tend to overly weak for their dinner. I don't know why. It's just they never really have. To be honest, the hay's not too bad. Is that tasty? Hey, Albert. He's like, and I don't know. So yeah, so feeding herbs, it kind of just gives them quite a lot of variety as well because there's different plants in there, different flowers. So I might go get them some fresh grass as well. It is also important during their winter diet and during times where they're not out on the grass to keep them used to the grass because grass is hay is dried grass but they digest fresh grass and dried grass very differently i don't know what he's doing so it's always quite important that you that, that they kind of have some option <laughs> i have no idea what you're doing mate thank you that's what's doing his dudes so yeah just have a look at that <laughs> Hi guys, I've just placed the guinea pigs out in their runs today. They'll probably be out for about an hour and a half. It's about half six now actually, it's quite late. Normally they go out in their runs in the morning, then come in the late evening. So typically as of late, they've been going outside from about 10, 10 to 11 a.m. till about 8 p.m. It's just, it all kind of depends on weather and what I'm doing today. I've been really, really busy. I've got a little bit of a family issue, which I'm not going to talk about too much on YouTube. But... I've been out all day, so I haven't actually had time to go out on the grass. I was going to put them out, out earlier, it's just I haven't had time. This is the eight foot from the business room. Just need to kind of fix that a bit. Yes, this is the eight foot bunny business run. This is the four foot triangular bunny business, I believe. But yeah, so they will be out in this run, yeah, as I said, for the next hour and a half. So, as you guys can see, they've got lots of grass. I put this dried forage in with them. I might collect some dandelions because there's quite a few dandelions around in our garden. Some of the leaves and some of the um, flowers. So yeah, they will be out here for a little while. So here I've just given them some extra dandelions. These are quite big dandelions. Do you see dandelions? He's like, now I'm more interested in the grass. Just a good boy. It's a bit windy today. No everyone's here trying to go grass. <laughs> just so, oh, then. And here's just the pears and all. They've actually got some of the flowers as you guys can see. Archie's just 
Oh, you want, oh yeah, he is just nomming on some of that now. Oh yes, I will see you guys later when I get the extra top. I guess I've just got to do, to do the last feed of the night, which is the hay. Animals got to go top their veggies up when they come back in. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you guys my hay. So I use um, a these burns wash meadow hay, or I use hay from a bale from my local farm. So I keep my bales of hay in this like outdoor storage unit. So this hay is quite green. You can't really see on camera, but it's really green. It's really long stranded. So yeah, I think it's about seven pound fifty for a large bale. That will last about three months. So I can't really explain. I like to fill this hide up, and that will usually get me enough. I may need to refill it. I'll show you guys once I've filled all the stuff up. But yeah, I tend to just stack this up. But yeah, this lasts me about three months. I'd like to say. All the hay for tonight. That's just for three guinea pigs. He eats a loads of hay. They're in their high. They're in their ones. It's going to take me a little bit of time to get them in now. So there is Albert and Archie's amount of hay for the night or day. The amount of hay feed typically tends to last about 24 hours if they're going out on the run. If they're on a day where they're in all day and they really want to eat a load of hay, it can go with about four hours. So they have the hay rack at the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. They have that full cat litter tray and then they have a small guinea pig litter tray. So yeah. And with hay, you can never feed too much. So if this actually needs topping up, I will top it up. But I remember watching Blue Roo Shed Zoo and she was getting a load of hate for just overfilling her hay racks. Which you can never overfill a hay rack. It's just Yeah. They need a lot of hay. So here is Fergus's hay amount. As you guys can see, he doesn't have quite as much as Albert and Archie. That is only just because there is one guinea pig in here. And he doesn't eat as much hay as what them two do. He loves his jingle ball. <laughs> but yeah, so he has that full litter tray full of hay, which is slightly bigger than Albert and Archie's corner litter tray. He can fully fit in there and lie down. I only get him on the larger ones when they have. Then he has a hay rack. I don't typically tend to like guinea pig hay racks because I can't find one that's like a really good size. So that went out, you've got a flower hanging basket which can fit a lot of hay and Fergus just has like a general like rack holder, lift, like a hay rack and that can fit quite a lot. This will last him 24 hours roughly. So yeah, it's quite a lot of hay for Mr. Fergus. But um, Fergus is actually really fussy with hay. I've had him on about five different brands of shop hay. He won't eat any of them. He likes the B&M Timothy hay for a few days and then he goes off it. The only hay he will eat consistently is the one from my local farm shop. My plan was in the summer to take them off it, but Fergus had none of it. And I put them on another brand of hay, which I could get in bags locally, which is the same quality as the farm hay, but Fergus had none of it. So, yes. So, because of Fergus, I have to wear a big bale, even when I don't use as much hay. So, here is the guinea pig's second vegetable feed of the night. It's the exact same amount as what they had in the morning. So, yeah. So, they've got a... Um, Sweetheart cabbage, some sweets, some carrots, and pepper. I don't normally feed this much root vegetables, so like your sweet and your carrot, it's just I need to choose it up. And yeah, they always get a bit of pepper for the vitamin C. Cabbage, I switch out most of the veg every single day, so they have different combinations. So yesterday they had kale, celery, cherry tomatoes, and the pepper. The only vegetables I get every single day is pepper for the vitamin C. But yeah, I always recommend feeding between four and five different vegetables a day. Baby. Oh, I'm going to make pants then. Here you go, babes. I got some hanging eye. That's not good to write book. Here's some carrot. No. These guys always choose their pepper first. And their pepper's the only veg they get every single day. Thank you guys for watching this this video please comment like and subscribe i'm tempted to do one for the dogs and for the hamsters it's just with dog diets i find that to be slightly more controversial than any of other animal diets so i'm not sure on the dog one but definitely my guinea pigs will well sorry definitely for the other rodents i will be feeding i'll be doing more diet videos because i really have enjoyed making this video so yeah